Hey everybody, it's Tony. Welcome to A Raw Canvas. I have another haul for you. It's a Hobby Lobby and Michael's haul. And so, yeah, let's get started. I went to Hobby Lobby and Michael's again and I decided to get more stuff. And my total was like $77 at uh, Hobby Lobby. And I was like, dang, what happened? But I realized <laughs> what I got and I was like, dang. Uh, and then I went to Michael's and that was just like a quick in and out kind of thing. So um, that's kind of what happened. So anyway, I'm going to do the more, let's just get into it. Anyway, so this is Oil Pastels Pentel Arts 36 Colors is what they look like. Now, I'm not an uh, oil pastel person. I do have some soft pastels that I bought. I think I showed you guys this earlier, but I got these. And so, yeah, I just decided to pick it up. Hobby Lobby, experiment with it. Um, experiment on canvas after I do acrylic because I, I saw on Instagram, so inspired. Uh, acrylic and then like oil together and so I wanted to see if the oil pastels on acrylic would kind of work or if the soft pastels on acrylic would work and then kind of go from there whichever one suited better um, for whatever medium whatever canvas or whatever paper I'm using so I just decided to go for this next up we have the pearlized acrylic paint set and the metallic acrylic paint set so these were on sale this is master's touch this is the um, set for the uh, metallic acrylic as you can see it's four colors these are the colors right here and then yeah so I just decided to get these so the tubes are pretty small let me open it up for you so this is what they look like four little ones roughly the length of your palm right and so I kind of assume that this is the same size so I'm not going to open this one and show you well I might but these are the four colors that you get with this with this one this was $5.49 but it was on sale and that was the sale price so usually when it has this um this yellow on it the yellow your price that means it's uh, discounted on sale and Hobby Lobby is pretty good with like discounts and stuff like that and so the pearlized one $10.99 I'm assuming this is just like a little bit of a shimmer um, iridescent type yeah it's a shimmer type going on not the same as metallic uh, but these are I mean actual silver gold bronze uh, copper these are actual metals so but these are pearlized, so it's pearlized blues, greens, purple, reds, yeah, things like that. So again, size of my palm, length of my palm. So you're not gonna get too, too, too much, but you may like it for, you know, whatever small size projects you have. And then if you like it, you may be able to get larger ones because I think you, you do have larger ones at Hobby Lobby. Um, or you can just find another brand and see. But yeah, these two. Then we have the gouache. Gouache. <laughs> Paint set, never used gouache before, decided to experiment with it. I used to watch a YouTuber way back. Um, I don't know her name. I can't remember her name, but she used to do like gouache and she used to um, paint like her day and outings and stuff like that. I think she was in Cali. I'm gonna like kind of cut this open, try to. These may stay in these boxes because it may be a little bit neater for me to do it like that or they may end up going in like a little bin. But yeah, this is all of them. And they're glory, so I feel like they're like half the size of the other ones or a third of the size. 
and there's still like the palm of your hand but you don't need too much for gouache i don't think it's kind of like watercolor i guess and that you don't really need a whole lot so i'm looking to experiment with this with the flowers because the reason why i'm getting all of these like acrylics and stuff like that is because hold on for a sec the reason why i'm getting gouache is because i really want to experiment making the flowers with different um with different things like acrylic or like different mediums there we go different mediums because when they were posca marker and acrylic marker on the canvas boards i felt like they looked okay they looked a little cheap and i wanted to kind of like step up my game a little bit and i want to experiment with just putting them on paper um and just working with them that way. And so I wanted to open myself up then to other mediums. And so I decided to get this as well. Oh, okay, good, the panel was covered. So these, the, this panel wasn't covered, so I was worried this one is, right? I was worried about these kind of like slipping through or falling out, but good, good. Next, I have three new inks. So I have the Dr. P.H. Martin Bombay Black India Ink. I have the Sepia. Um, and then I also have India Ink that I bought years ago, but I decided to get this. This was $5.49. So the regular one was like pretty cheap. These two is what kind of got me to $70 um, because they're almost $10 a piece. So it's Dr. P.H. Martin's again with the iridescent calligraphy colors. So I'm just going to use it as a dropper. That's what it looks like. See, it's really, really lovely color. But I'm going to use that. So 6R Jade. I have like a blue, but I wanted something iridescent. And I also have sepia, but again, I wanted something kind of iridescent shimmery. So this is copper plate gold. What it looks like beautiful beautiful it looks even better in person so I decided to get these I will be experimenting a bit more with my uh, India inks and inks and stuff like that so I got these then next these are some tools mixing and matching so this one i continued with my hobby lobby it's just one of the microns but this is like a thicker point so a thicker nib and we will use that i want to do some uh water drop this on here and then draw my flowers and we'll see how that looks as a concept but i wanted a thick enough line to kind of see and then i'll go and get my thinner ones and see which one i like the best but i decided to pick this up it did come in a three pack um but i already got like the fine point i think it's point one or something like that um so i just decided to pick up the fatter one because i like that one these are from Michael. So I got this brush in like the bargain bin. It's a watercolor brush uh, from Royal and Lang Nickel. Royal and Lang Nickel, I think that's how you correct. But this is what it looks like. So this is the brush. It's, it's kind of soft. So um, I'm going to be using it just to spread water out and maybe like the gouache or something like that because I feel like it's not too too different but yeah anyway so it was $14.99 I got it for five it was in a bargain bin so yeah the thing with them is I have other ones by this brand and like this little piece right here like where this is is not secure in that area and like getting it wet also I feel like it doesn't work we'll see if this line Nocturna Pro works a little bit better but yeah got that and then I just got this little foam what's it called foam brush there we go from Michaels and it was like 99 cents it's whatever you can get it from the dollar store but literally it's probably gonna be the same price so there's that next I got some canvases so I got this at 
Michaels because Artist Loft is their brand that they have. So Michaels carries Artist Loft. I got the canvas panels. I usually get them at Hobby Lobby, but I decided to get this size because I really like this size. Um, and what I'm going to do with this is paper mache. I have paper mache that I did a while back and it was like collage and I always liked that process and so the collage um, is gonna happen again I also have a tarot like an event where I signed up to do tarot but I also brought my art the last time and so I sold some art at the same at this event and so and that was with the canvas panel acrylic marker Posca marker but I wanted to do some uh, what is it some paper mache and some other projects so I decided to purchase this then I got some mini canvas this is Hobby Lobby they were on sale so it's for account mini and they're just like this I'm gonna try and do paper mache with this size as well again mini canvas panels um, six pack so let me go back size size five by seven size four by four size three by three so these are just regular panels again same thing paper mache mini canvases size two by two now these i'm going to do paper mache but i'm going to see if i can affix a magnet to the back of them and sell them as little mini magnets because um I feel like I want to get my art out there and I may not be able to manufacture them right now but if I can make some homemade paper mache magnets I feel like that'd be really cool at the fair at the event so I got these and then wrapping it all up I have papers so I went back to Hobby Lobby and got watercolor paper so this is a four by six sheets that you saw or will see in the video um, it's not live just yet but it's already scheduled, so it's just paper, regular, just thick paper, and um, this is what it looks like. So, watercolor techniques, got it that, four by six. This one, also Hobby Lobby, eight by eight, same thing, same weight, um, and I think they both, yeah, both are 15 sheets, so. I got another one of these canvases watercolor collections from Hobby Lobby 8x8 so these were this was on sale so I just decided to do this um, I'm going to experiment with the uh, ink drop it on here and then kind of see how it looks go from there and then I decided to get some mixed media paper. I already have some upstairs, I believe, but I decided to get more. This is from, this is from Michaels. Yeah, because Hobby Lobby does Master's Touch. Um, so Strathmore mixed media and the size is six by eight. And I decided to experiment with this size too, because this is small enough that people may want to purchase. So I decided to go forward uh, I'm gonna see about the ink again on here but because it's a different surface I want to see what I can do what I can experiment with anyway I've been watching a lot of people who do experiments with like uh, they use recycled materials and they just collage it on to paper and I'm very inspired by that so I'll probably be <laughs> following what they're doing but yeah so this is everything that I have purchased. Thank you for watching. I've been so inspired now um, with the death of my grandmother. I decided that I wasn't going to waste any more time with the stuff that I want to do. So I decided to just get stuff and start experimenting and, you know, one step at a time, one day at a time. But I am looking forward to experimenting with the magnets, especially, and this canvas. I'm going to try and do it. This was the only canvas there of this size left. And so if this goes well, I'll just start making bigger pieces and selling them. But anyway, thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.